What's up? My name is Brad and welcome to part three of how I made Master Chief. Today we're making the armor. Welcome to part three of How I Made Master Chief. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. We'll talk about them a little later on in this video. So if you're here, hopefully you've seen part one and part two. Part one is when we make the Master Chief helmet. Part two is when we finish that helmet and make a bolt of it and get it to, uh, and get it to where, where we have it today. And then this episode, part three, today we're gonna make Master Chief's armor. So you, you probably noticed a change in scenery. That's it, because we've moved ag again. I think over the last three years, we've moved three times and hopefully this is the final, this is gonna be the final. We're gonna be here for a while. So I promise you guys no more scenery change. That is partly why this video has taken so long to make. So sorry, sorry for keeping you guys. But we're finally settled and we're finally finished. And now we have finally finished the Master Chief suit. So to make Master Chief's armor, I like to use a technique called scratch building. I like to break this process down into a couple of steps. The first step is making the general form of the armor, making the overall profile. And once you have the overall profile, the second step is using thinner foam, really build up those high quality details that you want in your suit. And then the third step is paint. So I'll go into a little bit more detail as we hit those stages of the video. But other than that, let's start with step one, building up the base of the armor. I like to use half inch EVA foam. Uh, this stuff is great, it's it's thick, it's durable. I, I basically use that to cut out the geometry to make the, the base of the armor. So that's, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so quick little intermission here. So we've run into a slight, slight, small, slight problem here. I think I made the torso a little bit too big. The proportions are absolutely the hardest part to get right. Right now the helmet looks like it's too small when it in fact isn't. I think the plan right now is to do some Frankenstein work and make the torso a little bit smaller. I'll, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so the proportion part of this project, I think, has been fixed with this torso. In addition to this little cut, which has made a big difference on the backside, I have also moved up these thruster packs. As you can see, it kind of rounds off a little bit in the back, which, which makes the helmet look much better. So you, you, you get the idea, it looks a lot better. Okay, very happy with that. So step one is complete. Now we're gonna move on to step two. But before we go to step two, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor. Big shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is an incredible VPN to help protect your data and your information in today's day and age. If you wanna stay secure when connecting to a public Wi-Fi or a hotel Wi-Fi, you absolutely need to secure your data with a VPN. But it is incredibly easy to crack into another computer using the same Wi-Fi. So it's always better to stay safe than sorry and use a VPN, especially when 
using these unprotected networks that you have no idea who else is using. Everybody wants to watch their favorite TV shows while traveling, even when you're in a different country. Surfshark lets you access a ton of different streaming websites conveniently when you're in another location that doesn't support these libraries. And also, if, if you have a VPN, you'll be able to watch Band of Spartans, which is blocked in the United States. So that's a perk. So if you go to Surfshark's website or go to the link right below in the description and enter the offer code Impact Props, you will unlock an 83% discount, which is the best price on the market for this, as well as one month free. You have nothing to lose. This is an incredible deal. Thank you guys for checking out the link and thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. So now that we've completed step one, building up the base of the armor, now we're gonna start step two, which is using thinner EVA foam sheets to build up the details. This step is one of my favorites because this is really where the suit starts to come to life. I, I use a series of these thicknesses to build up the different types of details that are required on the Master Chief armor. So now that we finally have our high quality details on our armor, the last step is to paint. And the first step in the painting process is to seal your foam with Plasti Dip. So what Plasti Dip does is it provides a nice base for your paint to cure to. The next step is to paint. And I use a combination of different colors, a combination of oregano, a darker forest green, along with a bunch of battle damage. So that's what we're gonna do now.
Well, that about wraps it up. We finally have our Master Chief back and I'm super excited about that. But also, I've had a lot of fun making these build videos. I hope you enjoyed it as well. You can expect to see some more of these sprinkled in with those Living With Chief videos. Also, a big shout out to Vandal FPV. Those drone shots circling Master Chief at the end of the video, he did those. He's an incredible guy. I mean, he's got a YouTube channel, so go check that out. Link in description. And also, please check out Surfshark VPN. There's an incredible deal associated with the offer code impact props. The next video that you'll see from this channel will be the first episode of season three of Living With Chief. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.